Hey Collective, how are you? Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share the video. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump into these messages. What's coming next? What is coming next? Let's see. All right. There's a level on the Woo. All right. Somebody may be in five. Somebody who has been in some type of obsessive energy. This is going to shock the hell out of somebody. Because um, they getting caught up. submerge emotion submerged emotions um i feel like it's in the reverse because they are no longer being concealed somebody is exploding somebody is letting all these emotions out confusion there was a lot of confusion going on now it's getting cleared up ain't nobody confused no more they see straight through it now it's it's the conflict somebody is avoiding it somebody is avoiding confusion somebody sees straight through this Somebody in appear somebody is not who they appear to be, and you got altercation. Somebody about to get into a fight. That's what's coming next. Okay. Somebody also could be watching someone who does tarot readings and is very inspired by them and their ability to do tarot readings. Or they're using tarot readings to be inspired. Okay, here's a love and truth. So I'm going to deliver a clear message for me. Who's getting terminated? What is this termination? Termination? Termination. A high priestess? Somebody's getting terminated? Hold on. My deck was in reverse. Why is that in reverse? Let's try it. We're going to still take her into consideration. Termination. What is termination? Termination is earth angel. Temperance could also be um, temperance could be a Sagittarius. Um, King of Swords. The King of Swords came out in reverse. That could be somebody who's like really arrogant. With the magician, they could be like really cocky, really manipulative. Okay, temperance, king of swords. Um, and manipulate. Oh, you know what? I also just heard. I heard that someone could be lying on this person. Someone could be some some type of magic could be used, being being used, and someone is lying. Yeah, creating confusion, creating um, an illusion that is not true about whoever this temperance person is. And that has gotten them fired or will get them fired. Clarify obsession. What is obsession? Obsession. Obsession. Oh, okay. Obsession. So this obsession could be somebody giving, somebody's giving someone else a lot, someone, someone, okay, obsession. Somebody's obsessed with you, giving you a lot of attention, watching you, putting you on a pedestal, um, and really they like, they like regretful, um, this could be a fire sign who's doing this. They could be full of regret, full of shame. They might be depressed. They might be worried. They might be anxious, can't sleep. They're obsessively watching you, obsessively um, just watching you. Okay. Clarify shook. What is shook? 
And this may be somebody that you let go, somebody that you walked away from. Okay, should clarify should. Shook is clarified by the Hermit, Temperance, and Eight of Cups. They could be shook because you walked away from this motherfucker, went within yourself, um, showed yourself some self-love, went inside, cleared your energy up, and became balanced as hell. Right? You six of swords moved away. You trusted your spirit, guys. Trusted that this was way too heavy for you to keep going forward with. Okay, clarify caught up. What's caught up? Caught up. Caught up. Clarify caught up. What is caught up? Caught up. Ooh, caught up. All right. So caught up was, is, so with this caught up, I see um, somebody had a lot of options. Somebody was just foolishly running around doing whatever. Or this could be um, all these options caught up. Someone's actions is catching up to them. So them choosing all these different people could have resulted in like, um, could have resulted in some type of transition that's now um, opening up the doors for a new beginning. And so, or yeah, somebody could have got caught up with a Scorpio. Um, but yeah, I see all these options ending out and somebody's ready for a new beginning. Options are options are ending and somebody's ready for a new beginning. Okay, yeah, somebody ready for a new beginning. Somebody ready for a new beginning in love. Somebody's ready for ready to work with someone else. Someone's ready to walk away from the bullshit, balance out their own energy, and move towards their happiness. Okay. Clarify uh, submerged emotions in reverse. What is submerged emotions in reverse? Damn. Damn. <laughs> All right. So that's the truth. Came out first. Truth came out. Somebody sees the truth and clearly. Somebody is revealing the truth. Somebody's shining light on the truth. Remember, submerged emotions came out in reverse. So usually that would mean somebody's emotions are concealed. Somebody's emotions run deep, but they're somebody's somebody's feelings and emotions run really deep, but they are concealed. Is what the card says. So with it being in reverse, that's telling me that somebody is letting that shit be known, airing it out, telling the truth, giving some type of clue, truth and clarity. So if you don't know, now you know, and they shine a light on it. They're shining a light on how they feel. Um, they may be like, you know, they may be, they may have gone through a lot of shit before they finally decided to open up their mouth and say, you know what, this is how I feel. But they're still standing strong with they wall up and they staff and they're like, nah, this is what it is. Okay. And they're closing out a cycle or like you could be closing out a cycle but or this will result in a will of fortune which is like a really good fortune coming out this is this will result in great fortune somebody going ahead and letting the truth be known and, and telling it how it is it did what the fuck it is closing out the cycle allowing the old cycles to close out so they can move forward towards a new opportunity um in abundance this is abundant damn this is a lot of money like i said so if they go ahead, you go ahead and speak your truth. You got a lot of money coming to you. Okay. All right. So, clarify um, confusion in reverse. What is confusion in reverse for the collective, please? Confusion in reverse. Okay. So, confusion in reverse. Um. Excuse me. So where you may have been confused and in your head and in conflict before, you are no longer in your head or in conflict at all. You know exactly who you want, what you want. You you know who you see as wish fulfillment. You know where you want to go with that cup. You already told the horse. You already put the G the directions and the GPS for the horse to go ahead and go on over there quickly. On the leg, get your ass over there. Is what you're telling your horses. You know where you want to go. You know where you're gonna be happy at, and that's where you wants to go. And you ain't confused about it no more okay that's either you or somebody else who feels that way about you what's catfish 
Uh, what's catfish for the collector? Catfish for the collector. Uh-oh. Catfish for the collector. Knight of Wands. Um, so somebody you was dealing with was a Knight of Wands and a Queen of Wands in a reverse. Ooh, sticky energy. Okay, so that's just that's just nasty ass. <laughs> Dropping it like it's hot everywhere. Like they just they just they was just everywhere. Really they was they was keeping oh <laughs> all right. Catfish, right? This is what we clarifying. This person was this energy. Impulsive, reckless, um, promiscuous as hell, always had their legs open, um, and they were confused, had they keeping you in confusion, pretending to be an empress. Catfish. All right. They was pretending. And it could have been your baby mother who was pretending, or it could be a water sign fire. Oh, excuse me. Why I said fire? <laughs> it could have been a water sign. Um, either it's a water sign that who was pretending as the catfish, or it's a water sign who they were pretending to be. Like they were pretending to be like loving and nurturing and all oh, sweet and lovey dovey and woo -woo -woo. and really they was out there busting it open for her whoever so what a sign um scorpio pisces cancer or a very sweet nurturing loving intuitive person um that they were pretending to be remember this is catfish they're pretending to be they were really a queen of wands in reverse they were pretending to be a queen of cups empress um then you got moving forward quickly quick because you is quickly moving the fuck on putting that shit to rest getting out of your head going towards sending a you're receiving a message of concern something's about to come up that um you might have been stuck in your head but you about to see a message of concern about something that's gonna have you block out block this person and be like hell no back the fuck up back that ass up it might hurt this person or it might hurt you but at the end of the day you know exactly who this person is and what this person is about it's all about sex lust obsession nasty dark sticky energy that you really don't need and um yeah yeah all right these quests are just falling. All right, altercation. What's going on with the altercation? Clarify altercation. Altercation. Let's clarify altercation. Five of Wands. I mean, Five of Swords. Five of Cups. So somebody, somebody could be in competition with you. Um, ooh. Ten of Wands. This shit heavy. Okay. Altercation altercation a fight may break out a fight may break out because somebody trying to compete with you somebody is really sad and miserable somebody trying to keep you sad somebody trying to keep you miserable somebody steady trying to be like you jealous of you putting all this weight on you they putting all this weight on you they put all this weight on you and it's really just to keep you in a low vibrational energy it's really just to keep you stuck and confused, to keep you keep you feeling burdened, to keep you feeling like you gotta compete with something. Eight of Cups, the shit. Get the fuck on. That's what you got. They say move. They say don't get out your head. Stop juggling. Start planning and looking out towards the future. Make the decision. Make the choice. Put a blindfold off. You know what you're supposed to do. Stay or get out your feelings. Get out your feelings and stand up and do what you got to do. Because this tower is coming whether or not you see it or whether you want to believe it or don't want to believe it. Something about to come and it's going to hit real quick if you don't move. And it's something that was manifested. Something that was manifested. Look at infinity signs. Somebody playing. Somebody playing up in somebody's head. You see what I'm saying? Somebody, come on now. 
somebody playing up in somebody's head. Let's see, Muse. What is Muse? What is Muse for the collector? Muse. Muse is page of cards. Somebody that did you, you are inspiration of somebody. Either you are inspiration of somebody, or the person that you're looking at is inspiring you. And somebody about to say I'm sorry, or somebody needs to say I'm sorry. What is Muse for the collector? Muse for the collector. Muse for the collector, please. Because I'm muse. This person, you need to send a message. Send a message and say, I'm sorry. Or be on the lookout for a message that says, I'm sorry. Somebody got hurt and somebody somebody got hurt and that shit backfired. Whatever backfired hurt. You got hurt. You you hurt the person who is in, in inspiration to you and now that person is protecting their energy. Or the energy that you put out towards this person who hurt you. I mean, towards this person who you are inspired by, whose heart you broke, has now returned back to you because they're protecting their energy. And the things that you've sent towards them is now backfiring to on you. Somebody need to say, I'm sorry. Somebody need to send a message of apology. Clarify tarot reading. Clarify tarot reading, please. Somebody made a decision to walk away based off of a tarot reading. Somebody made the decision to walk away or somebody walked away and now is looking at the future, plotting and planning, um, maybe stuck in their head. And this is going to cause a tower. OK, we will, we will clarify the tarot reading again. What is tarot reading, please, for the collector? Clarify tarot reading, please, for the collector. Tarot reading. Tell reading for the collector. So the scales are being balanced. The choice that someone makes will balance out the scales, whether it be you or this other person. If you decide to follow the direction of your of the reading that you received, this will balance out the scales. And this will get things moving. Because an upright, this is stuck not going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. But right here, this is in a reverse. This is moving. I'm, I'm not going to say that it's moving, but I'm saying that it's... Uh, it's open. Things are open. This is uh, This is opening. This is open to me. Right here, this is stuck, stagnant, stubborn. Uh -uh. This right here is saying open to me. And then this fell out as well. You may have, or this person may have put to rest this connection. 
Um, and it's with this divine soulmate. But I also see that as you put to rest, put to rest the situation that you're in now, where there's about to be a lot of messed up stuff going on. Coming in next is a new beginning in love with the divine soulmate. Let's clarify. Hold on. I'm going to clarify that. Clarify the four of swords for the collective. Tarot reading four of swords for the collective. So you put it in to three of pentacles. You could have put it into working with somebody. Tower came out. You could have put it into working with somebody. Clarify the three of pentacles with the four of swords and the tower, please. Yeah, you put it into something. Five of pentacles. Yeah. And then that landed out on top of caught up. So you put it into working with working with something and now you're leaving somebody out in the cold or somebody about to get left out in the cold okay yeah somebody making a judgment call cutting the bullshit out closing out a cycle because there was a lot of betrayal here all right clarify clarify ace of cups what's ace of cups clarified from what I can see this relationship or this friendship that's coming in is going to be equal give and take it's going to be a love that is reciprocated the energy will be reciprocated this could be um, this could have happened after some type of transformation where there may be there may need to be some type of transformation that needs to um that needs to happen before this can be manifested or through this tra after this transformation after everything has closed out from whatever it is from the past you will be manifesting a new love that will be what you are desiring what you're asking for and it's coming from the person with this on the bottom of the deck from the person that you're in love with the person who you actually love the person who you actually care for you you will um, get into a relationship with this person. You will reconcile with this person. So this is telling me that you have already you have already been in community um, connection with this person before. Okay, the lovers clarify lovers. Clarify lovers. Okay. So, in the past, when y'all was in a connection before, this is what it was. Heartbreak, defensiveness, held back. Clarifying lovers, this is what it is. This is what it will be now. This is your total wish fulfillment. This is marriage. This is happiness. This is abundance. This is what it will be. Depending on what you choose. Whatever you choose. This is on you, collective. What else for the collective? What else? So, yeah. Eight of Cups. Temperance, Three of Cups, King of Cups. Walk away from what's no longer serving you. Balance out your energy. 
Reconcile with who you love. Might want to keep it to yourself though, because it's the type of energy that you got around you. 